lots of children have lost out on on months of learning and I want them I want all of them back in school for all of their lessons because it's absolutely vital so this is the pupil entrance now before we go in normally all the pupils come in through this entrance but our plan is to have some of them come in this entrance the younger ones and the older ones are going into the side entrance and we're going to have staggered starts as you can see, we've got markings on the floor to remind them to socially distance, to keep um, apart from each other. If we go into the school now, um, we, we have quite a small site. Because of the pandemic, what we've had to do is split the whole site into two. So normally you will have 650 children. We've got staggered break and lunch so that the younger children will be only in here and that the older children will only be in this area here. We've got a courtyard and we've got the hall there and they'll be completely separated as bubbles. Because we've had to change the way um, that the, the staff and the pupils are moving around the building, this whole staircase is only going to be used by the younger children. So we're not having a one-way system as such, but we've got two staircases. Year 10 and 11, who will have a different staircase, they move around in their subject groups only on this floor. They won't be going upstairs apart from in very occasional circumstances and then we have the cleaners coming in who are going to clean in between the lessons before the other pupils can come in. We haven't changed the class as we have 26 in a class. Um, GCSE sets and also maths, English and science sets tend to vary in size. So the larger sets for example in maths are bigger and our lower sets in maths will be very small. So that isn't actually going to be a problem. The problem is we don't have enough rooms to keep all the, the, the bubbles completely separate. So we need more day cleaners. The, the most recent set of guidelines about school opening were much more open. So the mandatory stuff about the health and the hygiene side of things and the uh, information and the guidelines about the bubbles and the groups of children was less prescriptive. So I think it's given head teachers more room to just adapt to what's possible in schools. It's going to be difficult, but within the bubble, yes, they have to be sensible and socially distanced, but they don't have to stay one, two metres apart from each other because it would be impossible for any school to do that in the corridors and in the classrooms. We've had to obviously buy lots and lots of things that we wouldn't normally have to invest in. So that's quite expensive for the school and, and the trust, and we've had to pay for cleaners that we on paper I can't really afford any of this I have to be honest with you because our margins are really really tight but obviously the health and safety of the pupils and staff is paramount so extra day cleaners I mean all the signs you know the signs that you saw on the floor the socially distanced sign you know, we, we have to pay for all that and the government isn't getting, giving us any extra money for that they've been very clear about that I would close everything apart from the hospitals the supermarkets and the schools if I had to um, above everything because I understand the economic arguments, but these children are the future of the country. If they haven't got an education, they're not going to contribute to the economy in 10, 20 years' time.